movie! And you have now opened the random retro bonus round. I am Joshua Caleb. And I am Gray Mellis. And I am Jeremy Veit. And this is the show where we randomly select retro games and play the heck out of them, if at all possible. <laughs> Which yes. isn't always possible. <laughs> so, we haven't picked the game yet, I assume, but I have no idea what we're playing yet. Neither do I. We randomly picked. Yes, we, all this, right. is, this is all this on the fly, totally random. So, <laughs> Alright, this is pretty neat. This is a cool concept, I'm down with this. Yeah, so, okay, I need a random letter. Go ahead, Jeremy. P. P. Okay, and then how about a number? Oh, you, Graham. Oh, let's say 18. Oh, it's such the anticipation. Ooh, because he counts. <laughs> <laughs> I think you didn't give him too high a number and take too long. Yeah, let's see. Uh, some, of the, some of the letters, you don't get too much of a choice. Yeah, I um, think I got... Palamedes? Palamedes? Pleiades? No. Oh, okay. Not quite sure what this is. Hotby! Palamedes. Yeah, I can't say I've heard of it. <laughs> I think I've seen this game. This this is giving off a very puzzle game vibe. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I'm matching colors. But not... Okay, what? Um... Um... Kind of like a Dr. Mario kind of thing here. Okay, so I I press press the B button to cycle. Well, you have to remove the box color rather than add on. It's not additive. Got a green one coming in. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Now red. <laughs> This is actually halfway interesting. <laughs> oh no! Wonder if there's any kind of like unique lock pieces or if this is it. Yeah, I don't know. So far, I'm not seeing anything. Ah, uh, oh boy. This is the. <laughs> no. This is the first level. Jeez. Yes. Oh. Oh boy. This is oh rough. Boy. No. 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 Uh, oh boy. Wow, that's getting pretty fast. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Which is, of course, one of the bonuses of doing retro, random retro, is even trying to figure out how to play the game. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the first challenge. <laughs> okay, let's do right, this again. 550, let's beat 550. <laughs> well, that's all I got last time. I don't know, maybe that's a, an amazing score. I have no idea about this game. So we'll say it is and just go. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, we may be the only people that have ever played this game. <laughs> I have, like, never heard of it. A little music soundtrack, dude. I hear it. Very puzzle gamey. What year was this game? That is a good question. I didn't catch I didn't catch the year on the title screen. I gotta say this is kind of an old game. Well it's on the Early NES. The, uh... So yeah, it's all 8-bit NES glory here. I was thinking more like uh, in the earlier stages of the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah, I guess I, I can see that. The, your little character sprite is a little... Um, monitor. This is from 1990. Mm. What does the span of uh, NES games go? Uh, they went for quite a while, actually. Yeah, yeah that's a later game. I'm not really. Mistaken. Oh, no. 
you know, because the Super oh. Nintendo was oh. out by then. Hey, look at that, 840. Ooh. <laughs> it's still stage one, though. Damn. Wow. <clears throat> okay, I'm curious. Two-player. Um, it was ported to the Game Boy. Okay, so this is basic two-player. I could see this as a good Game Boy game. Yeah. Sort of first Tetris. Yeah, and, it, and then it doesn't rely solely on color with the little... The graphics, yeah. The die block faces it, so you it wouldn't be totally confusing. It I just possibly... Drew. Oh, sorry. It possibly has the worst cover art I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm looking at the uh, wiki page for it, and it, the cover art... Not just, Oh, no, I can't say I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'll we'll have to post that in on the video. Yeah, it is pretty ugly. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. All right yeah, po po post a comment here. or something in the in the hangout. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Hard to do with my phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, how did you spell it? Pal Palamedes. Palamedes. Something like that. Yeah, you'll end up with the uh, Greek version of it, which is actually an old. <laughs> oh my god, that's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you got so many wrinkles in that kid's or I assume that's a kid's face. Oh, it's a pretty scary looking kid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's very creepy. Wow, that is. <laughs> it's like these. Uh... That... LSD cubes or something, you know. Mm. <laughs> right. Yeah, that is too creepy. Yeah, it it. As I said, I uh, I don't think you would see that art in any kind of game today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no wonder I've never heard of it. <laughs> I don't. None of the stores dared carry it. I was gonna say earlier, I just realized that the uh, symbols on the blocks are dice symbols, the same numbers. Patterns. I'm sure, that's something everybody realized. For me. <laughs> yeah, it took, well, took me a few I minutes. I thought it was at first, but there's a couple of them that are really hard to decipher on the screen. Or yeah. Something. I think that might be probably pixel problems. Like the resolution on the sprites are so low that they kind of like blur together. Yeah. yeah. The colors blur or blend. Okay. Well, what, what should we do for another letter? You oh, let's. Have... I'll pick that one if you don't mind. We'll go M. Okay. Now how about a number? Try it there, Jeremy. Um, seven. Also, something I just realized we picked what seventeen for P, but that was still in the PAs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a lot of Japanese games here. Uh, yeah. So we're doing M eight. Whoa! Ma Lee 12. Wait a second. What is. What is. Ma Lee 12 is what this came up as. What is this? This looks like Yoshi's Cookie. I think that's what it is. Is Ma Lee Japanese for Yoshi's Cookie? And our, our no, big one's uh, Japanese for I stole Yoshi's Cookie and called it something else. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this is like, this is Yoshi's cookie. <laughs> no question. I have no idea what you did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I never played this game. Well, see, you you press and hold the A button, and then it lets you slide horizontally and vertically. I used to have it. <laughs> yeah, I'll make this go a little faster. It takes. Oh, I can't a... say I haven't even heard of Yoshi's Cookie. Really? You haven't heard of Yoshi's Cookie? Yeah, well, I you have to vaguely re re recognize it. One of the things is uh, I have to say is I was never a big NES player, so 
That was when I was a poor student and couldn't afford video games. Yeah, it's expensive, high-end <laughs> Nintendo. Well, see, I got I got the NES when the Super NES was popular. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> I still have my Atari 2600 at this point. <laughs> I think I might still have that somewhere at my parents' house, buried wow. in the attic somewhere. Mine's in a box here with all the cartridges. I bet the cartridges need lots of blowing to make work now. Uh, actually, you need a little bit more than that. <laughs> <laughs> they get a little, oh, they get a little funky after a while. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... Adds a new element to the games when they're all even oh. blockier. Uh-oh. Something happened. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not as good at this as I used to be. Mario... The Some game. of the games, like for the Nintendo, you have to watch out because they have batteries in them. Yeah, and you can't save it. The battery goes dead. Or, at worst, the battery leaks and destroys the inside of the cartridge. Oh, yeah, that... <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen sooner or later for some of these. Yeah. That, that's why I, um, I mainly collect um, disc-based games. Yeah. Okay, well, that was, um, kind of Yoshi's Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next letter. Go ahead, Jeremy. Um, is there anything for X? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope we don't use that with Xena again. <laughs> um, <laughs> that would be funny. I'm going to go number 11. There's got to be at least 11 games with X. Zing Ji Zing Ba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the name's a winner already. <laughs> um, don't be another puzzle game. Um, It's Chinese, and it may not even work. <laughs> <laughs> I once had to install Chinese Windows. That was fun. Uh. <laughs> Come on, Zing Jai Zing Ba. <laughs> now go with this one. Nope, it's dead. Uh, well, I'm going to still, we'll just have to pick another number. And um, so that was Zay, uh, only in the eyes, hey? So what, let's try 23. Uh, it doesn't go that far. Okay. There's only 12. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> well, let's see what number 12 is. Um, Zybots. Zybots. Ooh, that sounds yeah, interesting. I, I played this one. Yeah, this sounds cool. No, I played this on arcade. This is just an arcade board. Oh, yeah, Atari. Okay. Yeah. 1987. I tell you, the graphics looked a whole lot better on the, on the uh, arcade version. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, whoa. Oh, okay. wow. That is what is happening here? Oh, okay, well, you're, all right. You're like in a 3D maze. I got it. through, you collect keys to open up doors. And apparently I'm locked in strafe mode. <laughs> How can you turn your guy right? Oh, wait, oh, there I did. There you go. So if I hold the B button, okay, I hold B and then I can turn. That's kind of a clever way of handling the 3D world. How do I pick up? No. I think you just walk over. There we go. <laughs> for later use, all right. <clears throat> Not bad for 3D. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Watch the enemy robots. He's following me. Ah. Nice. Collect energy pods to stay alive. Nice thing is, you've noticed you can play two players, eh? You get your map on the right, player one up top, player two down below. Uh, yeah. yeah, that would so be. It's a cooperative game. Huh. That would be sort of fun. Get a... oh, the only get thing a... is, you have to learn to turn and strafe around the corners. You turn before the corners and you strafe out around them. Yeah, it de definitely. And, uh, I remember doing that from the uh, arcade version because oh. it was kind of What happened? Kamikaze UFO. 
I guess I should have gone to the door first. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> so what is he shooting? He doesn't have a gun. Red balls of fury. <laughs> like, just out of his stomach. Belt buckle or something, maybe. Oh. Well, that went down surprisingly easy for how big he was. <laughs> wow. That is... Take one hit, man. Those red balls, man. They do some damage. Can I fire? Long distance shot. So what is the white dot? Oh, money. This isn't a halfway bad game. Well, yeah. you can get it on your PSP. Oh, really? Oh, what's that? It's inside oh. the uh, Midway Arcade Treasures 2, which we had played. Ah, okay. Yeah, but it was ported to a whole pile of stuff, apparently. Ooh, look at this. Got, um... Purple? Purple, and we got these single space walls, or whatever you want to call them. We can actually move around walls. Oh, whoa! <laughs> you know the sad thing, guys? Is this thing was never officially released. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, it was never officially released for the NES. Ah, some somebody got a hold of a ROM and yeah, someone got a hold of a prototype. This is a prototype game. Mm huh. And you know, for what it is, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not. I'm definitely not getting the, a prototype vibe out of it, like some games. Yeah. He said that uh, according to Wiki. Uh, the Zybots were well, never released for the Genesis or the NES. Huh. We're on low on health, it seems. Yeah, my guy is flashing red. So, I keep getting all this money, but I don't get any energy. The money you use between levels. Oh, the, to buy stuff, okay. Yeah, you can upgrade stuff. <laughs> If I remember correctly, it's probably been 20 years uh, since I played this. Blue guy, green. Oh, he's a little tougher. Oh, that color signifies how much health they have. Uh huh. Think of, uh, think of when what? Green. Ooh, kamikaze, kamikaze UFO. Ah, I think he got me. <laughs> That's a store, right? That thing. Oh no, end of the level. Ah, another Kamikaze UFO. So are these mazes randomly generated? I don't remember. I, I know that if they're randomly generated, you get them the same levels per, at least in the original stand-up coin, you get them, you get the same level every time, so. Hmm. Makes you wonder. <laughs> Oh, no, you do have a map next to you there. Yeah, well that's kind of nice. That's why I've, I always had a hard time with these um these early first person dungeon crawlers. Is when I had when it was when you had no map and all the walls looked the same and all the halls looked the same and. It was so easy to get lost. Oh, yeah, I know. You turn a corner and go down a hallway, and then you turn around, and you're like, which way did I come? They both, they're both they both identical. There's a lot of even later games for the PC that did that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Your health slowly goes down, apparently. Really? Maybe that's a time... Like it, it goes by time. I like to get, oh. make you go through the level quicker. Or I'm getting shot in the back. 
This one is shaped like an H. Yeah, your health is dropping. Armor. Extra strong. speed. Whoa, wait, whoa. What, what, boss. What, what, oh, boss what? fight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> you thought you were buying something. Nope. This reminds me of Contra. Oh, oh, okay. Now I'm back in the store. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, three guys. Man, these stores, they're very dangerous places <laughs> to be. You, you gotta take out the shopkeeper before he can buy anything. <laughs> You'd think things would be free after taking out the shopkeeper. Oh. Oh, he doesn't, doesn't turn very fast. Oh, I got a key. Well, the, uh, the plus side is you don't need that special FX chip to get the 3D like in Star Fox. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look what we're doing on 8-bit. <laughs> yeah, Star Fox was just on this. <laughs> yeah, can, can you imagine trying to do the Star Fox on 8-bit? <laughs> it wouldn't look pretty. <laughs> No. Because, I mean, the graphics on the full version are really quite nice. Um, this is a really, a really cut down version. I can see why I never made it past the prototype stage. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was the thing. Um, a lot of those NES games were arcade ports. And even the Atari, you know, had those arcade ports. And they all looked horrible compared to the arcades. I don't think it was until the Genesis when that's when they started um, advertising, you know, the true arcade experience. Yeah, because it had the hardware to do it. Yeah. I just realized I still had the Telemedes box art up on my screen and I've been staring at it this whole time. <laughs> I'm going to close it now. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Might stay tonight. <laughs> yeah, man, just lock, lock all your better. doors just in case. <laughs> Ooh, door, goodies. So those <laughs> those buttons are those the energy things? Yeah, full full health too. Oh, money. But you can see playing two players would be kind of fun with this. I wonder if the frame rate suffers. <laughs> if he did that. That's a good point. <laughs> Looks like the frame rate's already like four. Yeah, I, uh, I can't imagine playing this uh, any slower. <laughs> Though he, he seems to walk sideways faster than he does forward. Oh, I remember those games that used to have grid-based. And if you went diagonally, you actually would go faster because... Oh, because you're cheating a couple squares? Well, it's because, yeah, because hypotenuse, you know, our Pythagoras law, right? Yeah. Diagonal is actually a greater distance, but it's one move to the computer. So, yeah, you used to be able to do some stuff. Yeah, Tomb Raider, we used to be grid-based, which seemed really odd for an adventure game. We we're just kind of lost here, apparently, looking for the exit. Yeah, apparently there is there is no linear path through these later mazes. Imagine with two guys, it'd be a little easier. Yeah. You know, with two separate screens, you know, a split screen, you don't actually have to be with each other. Yeah, then he could um, comb both ends of the maze, and whoever got to the exit first. I wonder if it automatically warps you to the exit if your friend finds it, or... I'm not you... sure. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since I played. Have you tried the uh, far most upper right area? That looks like it's kind of tucked away. Let me turn my arrow. Okay. You could play this game just with the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your health does does drop, dropping uh, 
pretty quick. Oh, so I am limited on time. Oh wait, wrong way. So I wonder what happens when I die. Oh, more oh. robots. Okay, I must be going the right way. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Um. Extra. Wait. I haven't. I don't. I. I don't know how to buy things. Key. You only have one dollar, so you must have bought something. Oh. I must have spent all my money. Oh, Kamikaze. My health went back up. Then. Okay, this is, this is getting bad. You're taking a beating. Yeah, and so is the frame rate. <laughs> I was gonna say, which one? Uh, wait, wait, where am I? Okay. Wow. <laughs> Turn. Oh. Ball. Uh, bummer. That's a shame. Level 10. Oh, you did well. <laughs> a lot better than he did at Palamedes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hard game. I can see why that kid on the box art has that grin. <laughs> just, just daring you to play it. As he's being slowly crushed by the happy ice uh, little cubes. <laughs> I thought that game was pretty neat. Interesting. Yeah, they just need to, you know, do something about that box art. <laughs> oh, no, the Zybots. I think the Zybots oh. was the uh, best random. Yes, that, that was definitely the one of the better NES games we've played. So I think that'll probably do it for our random retro this week. Um you want to watch more of these uh check out retro games forever where you can find and subscribe to them or check itunes and random retro bonus round and we will see you again sometime randomly next week see you later see ya